All right, everybody out there on YouTube. Uh, today's video is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a new ROM. Um, haven't showed you how to install yet on the Droid Razor HD. It's called Exion HD, um, and I'm just gonna go over some prerequisites for you, install it, and then uh, show you what what's on it. Show you the ROM. So first things first, uh, I'm running Eclipse right here, Eclipse ROM on my Droid Razor HD. Let's go into a couple prerequisites on this thing. You are going to have to have uh, root access with something like Super User right there or Super Su. Um, you're going to have to have a custom recovery installed. Uh, I actually have Shabby Penguin custom recovery which is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery installed, which I just made a video on that, how to install that. So that's what I'm going to be using to install this ROM with. Um, so that, and then you're going to have to have an unlocked bootloader. So last thing is you're going to want to make sure you download uh, the ROM, which I'll give you guys links to in my video description. So you're going to go to Downloads. And right here I have the Google Applications and the Xeon HD uh, update there. So that's all good to go. I know where it's at on my external SD card. So let's go ahead and power off. I can normally boot into recovery from right here, hit recovery. I'm going to show you guys the old-fashioned way of getting in there just because uh, it's good to know how to do that uh, in case something goes wrong. You mess your phone up, you can always get into recovery from the powered off state. Uh, so it's just a good thing to know how to do. So what you're going to do is from powered off state, you're going to hold your volume up and down. Sorry, I can't see this and power until you get into bootloader mode or uh, yeah boot mode scroll down one with the volume down and then scroll volume up to select recovery and there we go this will boot you into recovery like I said I'm using shabby penguin recovery based on uh, clockwork mod which has um, scrolling uh, selection stuff it tells you about it right down here so you can actually scroll like this I'm going to show you guys the easter egg on this sucker because it's fun there we go so what we're going to do first is uh, we got to go to wipes. So we're going to do wipe data factory reset. Swipe across, scroll down, and uh, swipe across. Actually, you know what? Yeah, swipe across. So that's going to go ahead and format data, format cache. All that's going on right down there. You guys may want to make uh, an Android backup before you start this process. Um, just in case, <clears throat> in case something goes wrong, you can always restore that in Android. Um, probably a good thing to do. I have Twerp Recovery backups right now. Uh, if I ever have a problem, I'll just replace this with Twerp and do a backup that way. But everything should go fine on this install. Um, so I did that one. Let's go ahead and go to uh, Wipe Cache again. Scroll down. Yes. So we're going to wipe Cache again here. And then uh, we're going to go to Delvic and do that also on Delvic, which I think is under Advanced Settings. So I hope you guys like the uh, rainbow effect. I think it's pretty cool on uh, this recovery. It's one of the fun things about the recovery, the rainbow, and then you're just swiping on the screen to do all of your, uh, you know, confirmations and stuff like that. So we're going to go down to advanced, swipe over, and then right here, wipe, Delvic, swipe across, say yes, swipe across, and that's already done. So we're going to go to go back, swipe across, and now we've wiped all of our stuff here. So we're going to go ahead and go down to install zip from SD card, swipe across, choose zip from SD card, swipe across. I got to go to downloads, swipe across, and let's actually go back because this is not my external, this is my internal SD card. So, um... Let's go back again here. Um, external, that's what I'm looking for. External, downloads, Xeon HD folder, and then update Xeon HD. This was from like yesterday, I think. And then let's go ahead and do it. So you can see all of my directions and everything. I'm not toggling with my volume up and down and selecting with power. It's all done through this. Um, so we wiped all of our good stuff out. We are installing our system update right here. All of our files and everything. We're going to install our Google applications and then we're going to boot it up and see what happens. So let's let this install. We'll come back to it. Okay, the ROM has flashed successfully now. So we're going to go back down to choose zip from external. Downloads again. 
um, XD. So then right here, G, G apps or Google applications right there for Jelly Bean from 2013 3.1. And I'll swipe across. Go down and say yes. If I can get it, there we go. And swipe across. This is one thing I thought was really cool. See how it's flashing at you? It did this in the last install. You missed it when I did it on the ROM. But I don't know. It just looks cool when it does it. I really like the like rainbow looking thing. It's kind of a neat uh, little setup. So this should take just a second here. You can see there's a progress bar right down there that's already building. It's almost done right now. And pretty much should be almost done. Shouldn't take too long. That progress bar is going pretty far across. And there we go. So we're going to scroll to go back and then reboot system now and we'll come out of recovery. We're going to hit um, and see what our boot animation is for this ROM at Xeon HD and then I'm going to go through some setup and I'll show you guys the ROM. So let's see what I've got for boot animation just because you guys know if you watch watching my videos I love seeing what boot animations they come up with. Okay, so this is just the stock uh, Nexus boot animation. Nothing too crazy, just seeing this one a lot. So let's let it boot and we'll come back to it. Just a reminder, probably tell you guys this every time, first boot up can take up to 10 minutes to boot. So be very, very patient. If you have a problem, shut down the phone, boot back into uh, recovery, restore an Android backup, whatever you gotta do to get it running uh, in case something went wrong on the install. Alright guys, here we go. This is the ROM fully booted up. I went ahead and went through some setup stuff, got my Wi-Fi connected, that kind of goodies. Um, let's go ahead and see what all this comes with. Um, <clears throat> so right here you can see some apps that it comes with. It looks like we got pre-installed Apollo. Uh, it's a music application. DSP Manager. Uh, this is a Saijin Mod File Manager right there. It does come with Goo Manager built into it, which is really nice for downloading more ROMs and uh, Google applications, booting into recovery, all that kind of good stuff right there. Um, has ROM stats you can turn on and off. Super user, obviously, or super, yeah, super user. Uh, torch for turning on your LED light on your camera. That's right in there also. Um, and then some basic widgets, pretty standard stuff it looks like here. So that's pretty nice. Let's see what we got for uh, settings here. You do have your toggles right here, which is nice because this says Android 4.2.2. As you can actually see right down here, right here, Android version 4.2.2. Um, so that's really nice. You also have uh, some performance stuff. This is really where you get some the good stuff about this ROM is all in the settings. You can do some performance thing with your CPU set your min max governors things like that um, schedulers basically all that kind of fun stuff you can do this also has permission management so you can actually give apps certain permissions and take away permissions from a specific app uh, by turning this on and then going through and doing that so that's really cool that you can actually do that um, there's a pretty neat little feature built into that right there permission management that you guys can mess around with uh, developer options, pretty standard stuff, turn on USB debugging, that kind of stuff. So we have dark Xeon HD, which just kind of gives this thing, the whole phone, like a darker tint. If you like if you like that look, um, you can do that, or turn it light again. Um, you do have your themes, so uh, you can install themes off of Google Play, which is nice on any custom ROM. Launcher, let's see what we have here for launcher. Um, this is... Onager, I don't even know how to say that launcher. Not sure, I haven't actually messed with this launcher before. So you do have your basic settings in there for the launcher. And then you have ROM settings. So this is where the customization really, really comes in. You guys, I mean, just look through this, these, these options here. General UI, navigation bar, navigation rings, lock screen, power menu, Pi, looks like Pi controller probably. Ribbon options, don't know what that is. Hardware keys, keyboard, battery, clock, status bar, toggles, system tweaks, LEDs, prop, modder, sound, vibrations, and about Xeon HD. Uh, this is what makes custom ROMs fun, in my opinion. You get in here and you guys can edit all kinds of stuff really simply, on the fly, um, while you're in the phone to really customize this thing. This is the fun part of it. Uh, so let's go just to general UI really quick and see some of the things, boot animations, counters, oh yeah, 
UI modes. I mean, they're, the LCD densities. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot a lot of cool stuff. Uh, let's see here, nav bar. So this has to do with your buttons down at the bottom. Transparencies and oh man, all kinds of uh, all kinds of goodies right there. Let's go ahead and just go to battery because I always like to change my battery. I always want to see um, a percentage on it. Battery style center mirrored. What does that do? Hmm, interesting. Power location. Yeah, so bunch of battery bar thickness. You can add like a battery bar. Um, status bar. See up there, it's got a bar along the top. It's blue. Here, I'll show you this really quick. The thickness will change it up so you can see it easier. See, I got on the top up there. So you can add that in. You can change colors to it. I mean, just, yeah, all kinds. System tweaks. Let's see what we got in here. Um, this time only, remember my choice forever, allow. Um, so this just gives your uh, ROM settings super user permission. All right, so let's see, zip line, SD boost. Oh, he already got a lot of this stuff going. This is all stuff that he's already checked all off for you guys, just so it runs really quick for you all the time. That's pretty cool. That's what the developers got there. So anyway, you could go through this thing, probably spend an hour going through all the settings in here and messing with it and tweaking it how you want it. So pretty cool. Like I said, that's probably the best part about this ROM is all those settings. So there you go, guys. That is basically the uh, Exion HD ROM install using Shabby Penguin Recovery, which is based on Clockwork Mod Recovery. I uh, hope you guys liked this little uh, tutorial. Uh, gave you some good information on how to do this. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you guys like it. Also recommend a reboot after this thing sits for about 10 minutes. It always makes things run really better once you let it sit for a little bit. So that's it. Hey, if you guys like it, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, check me out right here at rootjunkie.com. You can follow me on Facebook or Twitter over there. I'm always on all these sites, updating things constantly. Um, hope you like it. And as always, have a good time, a good one, and we'll catch you guys later.